सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन वेर वी आर कंटिन्यूंग विद नेटवर्क एनालिसिस सेशन्स एंड वी हैव कवर्ड टू वीडियोज ऑफ बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू नेटवर्क एनालिसिस एंड आई हैव टोल्ड यू सम ब्रीफ बेसिक्स अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल्ड अ सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड यू आर टू मेक यू थरो अबाउट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स इन द अपकमिंग सेशन्स Starting from today's session, we are going to solve one simple problem related to source transformation. Okay, these kind of problems will be coming for the exam. Uh, like, share, subscribe to our channel before you watch this video. And those who have not watched my previous videos of network analysis, please watch them. Especially for those who are having backlogs and those who are currently studying third sem, it is for them. Okay, so now without wasting any time, let's start with the pro one problem. We have one simple problem. That is by source transformation. Find the current through the 10 ohm resistance. That is, this is the 10 ohm resistance. The current through this 10 ohm resistance you should be finding to the network shown below. So this is one whole network here. Okay, this is one simple network. In the upcoming sessions, we are going to deal with many many complex networks. Okay, this is one simple network. So how to proceed further is our goal is they have told us to find the current through this 10 ohm resistance. That is, I of I subscript 10 ohm. Yeah, right. So how to find it is first we should be analyzing the circuit, and we should be seeing that how to simplify this circuit. Okay, in order to get this uh, current through this 10 ohm, one more thing you should be keeping in mind is this 10 ohm is there, right? Whenever we simplify the circuit, this should be there till the last step. This you cannot be reducing, okay, by taking the equivalent resistance in series or in parallel. This branch you cannot be. substituting this you should be keeping till the end okay that i'll tell you how first thing is you can see that this one branch here you can see here that is one resistance or one impedance simply uh, call it as a resistance okay since they have given the value in ohm so call it as a resistance only this 5 ohm and this 10 ampere are connected in parallel right so how you can reduce by using source transformation that is this current source converted to a voltage source so whenever this is converted to a voltage source we know that this resistor would be coming in series with that voltage source right so how to reduce it this branch you keep it as it is don't go to change it 5 ohm 100 volt this 5 ohm resistance and here this would be connect converted so here the the polarity is minus plus right so that's why this we should be keeping in mind you should be checking the polarity very carefully so this is minus plus then this 10 ohm again keep it as it is and rewrite the circuit so this is 10 ohm this is 5 ohm this is 5 ohm 100 volt and now this 10 amp current source you should whenever we convert this to a voltage source you should be keeping in mind that we have a relation between current and voltage and resistance that is ohms law so here we are finding the voltage so that's why we should be applying the formula v is equal to i into r okay that is v is equal to i is 10 ampere here and uh, resistance is 5 ohm so that's why v would be equal to 50 volt okay so that's why this would this 10 amp voltage source would be converted to a 50 uh, 10 amp current source would be converted to a 50 volt voltage source okay that you should be keeping in mind then now you can see that this one branch there right this is one single branch and this full branch is in series and this you should not be touching i've told you we should not uh, if you see thoroughly that this full thing is in series only we can add everything up and we can reduce it but what i've told this you should be keeping till the end right so now consider these four components only we can see that these are in series so that's why these two resistances we can add it and write it as 10 ohm and these are uh, the see the polarity here minus plus also minus plus in series so that's why the polarities are same so these two voltage sources also would be getting added up so write the simplified circuit 5 plus 5 would be 10 ohm draw one 10 ohm resistance or impedance and draw one minus plus voltage source 100 volt plus 50 volt that is 150 volt along with one uh, that 10 ohm resistance you should be keeping it as it is okay now our task becomes easier now they have told us to find the current through 10 ohm resistance that is i through 10 ohm we know that the formula for i is v by r okay but here voltage source is there they have given 150 volt but in this case now we should be considering the equivalent resistance now we should be considering this 10 ohm resistance that is 
we can see that uh, the equivalent resistance these two resistances are in series right these two are not connected through different branches whenever if we had like this right then these two would be different but here this is continuous so that's why these two are in series these two whenever we have like this don't be confused that uh, don't say that these two are in parallel because when we uh, if we replace this 10 ohm and write it here also it is one and the same because this is not one con this is a continuous branch so that's why these two are in series so that's why voltage source is 150 divided by 10 ohm plus 10 ohm that is 20 so i of 10 ohm is equal to 15 by 2 that is 7.5 ampere okay so this is the simple problem like this you should be solving these kind of problems okay so take down this question and uh, note this down very very easy very important okay the upcoming problems won't be this easy so this is one question let's get to the second question so yeah this is the second question i've told you right the circuits won't be easy whenever, whenever we proceed further and further so this is one circuit here so see the question guys reduce the network to a single voltage source in series with resistance between the terminals a and b so our task here is between these two terminals a and b this is one circuit we have here complex one you should reduce this network and that network should be considering of one single voltage source okay i am not uh, bothering about polarity and one resistance a and b the final circuit we should be reducing up to till we reach here by using the conditions of source transformation which i have already discussed in the previous sessions okay in this form we should be reducing this complex circuit now okay it looks very difficult but uh, uh, very easy guys just uh, follow my steps okay so first thing i have told you we should be analyzing the circuit so here in this we can see that in order to reduce we can reduce this part observe carefully this part we can reduce how i'll tell you we can see that these two one voltage source and resistance are in series and here we have one current source and resistance in parallel but if we convert this voltage source into a current source then we can see uh, when uh, into a current source then this resistance will be coming automatically in parallel okay then we can say that these two resistances would be in parallel along with that these two uh, current sources after converting these two current sources also would be in parallel so we can add them up and converting it to a single current source and we can add these two resistances in parallel then convert it to a single resistance so that's the first step reduce this part and write the equivalent circuit okay i'll write it and show you to you, to you all so this is the next step i've reduced the circuit so where and all are changes that I have made here, you can observe here, this part and this part I have made the changes here, that is the current source in parallel I have written the resistance, okay. This thing is try write the equivalent the value of the current source and resistance, that is the resistance value won't be changing, it will be remaining as it is, in this both the cases also. The value would be changing in the current source, whenever voltage source is converted to current source, I, I told you that you should be considering the equation. That is here we need to find the value of current. So I is equal to V by R. In this case the value is 10 by 2. So that is 5 amps. And in this case the value is 12 by 3 that is 4 amps. Okay. So hope you understood this. So this is the first part of reduction. Then the second part I have told you right. So see here. This thing here. We can see that these two are in parallel so we can add them up and the direction is also the same direction okay so this would be 8 ampere if we add them up and these two are in uh, parallel so if you do the parallel connection that is 2 into 2 divided by 2 plus 2 that would be 4 by 4 that is 1 ohm so when we do this in parallel it would be getting 1 similarly here these two uh, current sources have different polarity one is upwards and downwards so that's why we should be subtracting them and this resistance we keep it as it is and this also you should be not be considering here because keep it till the end let's see what would happen okay so now let's read the next equivalent part of the circuit so i've written the reduced part here so now add these two that is this should be 8 amps and when we do this in parallel i've already done it here 2 into 2 by 2 plus 2 that is 4 by 4 is 1 so this would be turned to 1 ohm now and this 3 ohm keep it as it is and these two 4 ampere 
and 2 ampere this is the greater current here so that's why the greater current direction would be kept as it is and these two would be getting subtracted so this would be plus 2 ampere okay so hope this is clear now what to do now again reduce it that is so here we can see these two branches here have current source along with the parallel resistance convert it to a voltage source along with the series resistance that is draw one voltage source here see the direction this is plus minus so plus minus series so here again plus minus series then this all this you keep it as it is resistance minus plus a b so resistance value won't be changing 1 ohm 3 ohm now the voltage values would be changing here since the equation is v is equal to i into r so here we have i value is 8 and resistance value is 1 so that is 8 volt so this would be 8 volt so similarly this would be i into r 2 into 3 that is 6 volt right so now here you can see that this all the four thing are in series and here this thing is in series so reduce this part add the voltage sources and add the resistances and write it here so these two polarities are the same so that's why 8 plus 6 would be 14 volt this would be 14 volt 1 plus 3 would be 4 ohm along with that so these values are 6 ohm 6 volt so this is 6 ohm minus plus 6 volt terminals A and B but here these two are not these four components are not in series so we can not directly write our answer okay because these two are separated by these two terminals so these two are two different branches so that's why these two are not in series so don't think that these two are in series because I've told in the previous problem like this if you have continuously this is in series but here it, they are separated by two ter different terminals A and B so now again in order to reduce this again we can see that the voltage source in series so convert it to current source in parallel okay let's see what it would be happening that is this is the polarity is plus minus so arrow would be upwards then this resistance 4 ohm then we have this voltage current source and the, the arrow is downwards now then this resistance the value here is 4 ohm 6 ohm A B so current value changes again I is equal to V by R 14 by 4 okay so write this as uh, 14 by 4 amps okay you can if you want you can even reduce it so here this is 14 by 4 and this is 6 by 6 right that is 1 amp so now final step is these two current sources we can uh, convert it to a single current source and these two resistance they are in parallel so we can convert it to a single resistance that is 14 by 4 plus 1 14 by 4 plus 1 if you reduce it it would be 14 plus 4 by 4 that is equal to 18 by 4 that is if you solve it it will be getting 2.4 ampere okay So sorry here you can see that these two directions are opposite so we should be subtracting it this should be 10 by 4 okay okay so this will be 10 by 4 amperes okay so sorry for that and the direction is the greater current the upward current along with that the resistance is in parallel so that is 4 into 6 divided by 4 plus 6 that is 24 by 10 that is equal to 2.4 ohms okay so this is 10 by 4 ampere or 2.5 ampere and this is 2.4 ohms between A and B but they have told us to reduce it to a single voltage source and one resistance so like this till here we have reduced the next step is simple these two are in current source with parallel converted to voltage source with series that is so see the uh, direction of uh, the arrow 
plus minus so plus minus I'll write it like this along with one resistance so resistance value is 2.4 ohm fixed okay this is the final resistance after the source transformation the reduced resistance and the voltage is V is equal to I into R that is 10 by 4 into 2.4 or we can directly write it as 24 by 10 okay so that's how we can cancel this 4 1s are 4 6s are that is 6 volt right so this is our reduced form that is the final answer is between the terminals A and B we have a 6 volt voltage source along with the 2.4 ohm resistance so in this way I have solved it like this okay this is the direction so this is the simple problem here guys please note it down so that's all for this session guys hope you understood this problem very important these kind of complex networks should be given and you should be trying to reduce it okay that's all thank you